Tell me you're going to be a regular out here. How's it feel to play the league? <laughs> Um, it's great. Uh, it's good to, for me to just be able to make plays for the uh, team. Uh, I guess, yeah, it's starting to be regular. I mean, I'm still not used to it. I'm just still happy about every little thing I get. So I'm um, just excited and just can't wait to see what happens at the end of the season, see if we make it to the championship or go to a ball game or whatever. So, yeah. The coaches last year seemed almost like surprised once you got in the lineup, how you're performing based off what we did in practice. Did you always know that was in there and it just needed a chance to come out? Or how did you feel like what you've been able to accomplish? Um, yeah, I mean, I always have faith in myself to know what I can do and everything. I mean, I just, like I, t like I said before, I don't know if the coaches saw it. I mean, you know, I rather ha would have had it the way it went. So I'm not really uh, worried. I'm just happy it's happened now rather than later. I mean, so I'm just enjoying, I'm just enjoying the ride right now, just enjoying everything about it. So, yeah. Isaac Coach was talking earlier about how it's almost impossible anymore to go out to a high school and find a fullback to come play in your program. <laughs> they just don't exist much anymore. What's it been like for you to make this conversion? Because it seems like there's been a lot of guys in front of you that have done the same thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's pretty hard to recruit a fullback now just because it's kind of a dying breed. Right. Um, for me personally, I, I played linebacker and I played rugby growing up, so I was never afraid to hit. So that transition, as far as the the physicalness of the the position, um, I, I think I was able to fit right in. Um, as far as technique, blocking, all that, that's just learning from the guys in front of me. Bought in Dakota Gordon when I first got here, and uh, just learning from Coach Horton and just all the, all the techniques. Can you have a, this guy ever run into you <laughs> practice? Oh man, we always bump heads and during spring ball and uh, you know uh, camp and stuff. I mean, uh, him and Dakota Gordon is probably one of the kind of guys that always gave me a headache. So <laughs> yeah, so Isaac's a good blocker, as you guys can see and everything. I always knew Kiava would be a great linebacker just from hitting him just during <laughs> practice. He's a, he's a hard hitter, always coming full speed downhill. So I knew he would be great. Were you ever reluctant to be the fullback, or did you embrace it as soon as they approached you? There? I was excited uh, when, yeah, coach, because I came in as linebacker, um, Coach Arnett and uh, Coach Horton had a meeting with me and told me about the, the switch, and I was excited. Um, I was just excited to get back on the offensive side of the ball. I think I just have a better mind for that side. I was going to ask you what, you, what do you enjoy more, linebacker or fullback? I like fullback. I like being on the offense. Um, yeah, I just think my mind works better that way. I like, obviously, I don't score the touchdowns, but I like, opening up the holes for the running backs and for the receivers to score the touchdown. So I have more fun on offense. Did it give you any comfort seeing a guy like Nick Bodden, who was a quarterback coming in, you know, convert and then do what he did to go into play in the NFL and, and be on the line? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think the, the thing I learned most from uh, Bodden was just the mindset to be a, a fullback. Um, he was obviously quarterback, so he kind of had to teach himself uh, how to prepare the right way every day, just get right mentally to – endure that physical battle that you have to do. Um, so yeah, that, that's what I learned most from him. And that's kind of just what you have to do, just kind of trick yourself into loving, loving the position. You probably almost have to be like a point guard where you get excited to make that great pass when you see someone like Jawan who, who busts through and runs it for 50 yards. I mean, that, that's gotta be a thrill for you, you know, when you were part of that, right? Yeah, no, it's awesome. Last game, uh, the our last touchdown, it was a toss and I, came up uh, in between the, the blocking linemen, and I just saw me and one guy. I was like, oh, I know Juwan's going to break this because I'm going to get him. And once I blocked him and saw Juwan running free, I was, I was excited. Um, what did Juwan say to you after the fact? Oh, yeah, he, he gives everyone his props. He's a humble guy. He talks to us in the o linemen all the time. On that note, how, was, how nice was it to have him and Christian and everybody come back? It was awesome. It just brings more bodies, more competition to practice. Um, it's awesome just getting the whole the whole group back together. What was it that kept you off the field? You had something in your neck? Yeah, just just a neck injury. But like, what in particular? Anything in particular? Uh, nothing in particular. Still? Just a, yeah, just a, a. It's kind of comes with the position, hurting the neck. You hit a lot, so just had to battle through that. Do you remember the play that it happened? Uh, no, not exactly. I just yeah during uh, the Eastern Michigan game, it just started getting really tight and. I talked with the trainers, but nothing in particular. Feels pretty good now. Yeah, it feels 100%.
How did it feel uh, being back out there this past weekend? So much fun. So much fun. It was, it's hard not being out there with the guys. Um, you train all off season with the guys and they, they become your brothers and that's who you want to go to battle with. And you, when you're not out there and able to fight with them, it's, it's pretty tough. So getting out there last Saturday was awesome. Just great feeling. For, for both of you guys, how closely will you be following the Measure E, Measure G vote and have, have both of you guys been able to get out and vote yet? Uh, well, I'm not registered, you know, so I know that probably sounds bad. <laughs> I'm not registered yet. And, uh, I would like to get out and vote, you know, but it's just my time consuming with football and everything in school. It just, it just doesn't have time right now. But if I have extra time, I'll make sure I go vote. How close will you be following the, the SDSU West vote? Oh, I mean, uh, probably when I'm gone, you know, that'd probably be all built and everything. So, I mean, I'll follow it real well. I mean, hopefully they do get that new stadium and everything they're wishing for in uh, the Mission Valley area. So, uh, I mean, the younger guys, uh, hopefully they do well in that stadium. I mean, uh, so, yeah. Yeah, we, we hope it gets done. Um, obviously, we won't be playing in the stadium, but I think it'll just be able to take SDSU and our football program to the next level. You weren't... Yeah, you weren't even being recruited by San Diego State when San Diego State and UNLV were the only teams in the conference without an on-campus stadium. And before Fresno State and Nevada joined, they were geographically close. So it was such really UNLV and San Diego State were the conference rivals. Does this game mean anything in terms of a rivalry anymore, or is it just you need to win every game possible? Um. I think we just need to win every game from here on out. I mean, obviously, like Coach Long said, this is uh, like our team is, you know, we've been going through adversity this whole year. It's always going to be a close game for us. I mean, like he said, he's just not going to fight anymore. It's just going to be, that's just going to be the way it is. I mean, and the way we're training and everything, we're mentally tough. So, uh, like, like you guys have been saying, we've been pulling out at the end, winning games. So, I mean, if we can keep doing that and make it to the championship and do that, then we reached our goal. Yeah, our goal is to win championship number 22. and. Right now, we control our own destiny because if we win every game, we'll be able to get to the championship. So every game is a must win. It doesn't matter who's in front of us right now. Throw up the comfort zone for you guys when it's close. Or you're, I mean, you're behind by nine points late in the game last week. You guys just kind of say that's how it is. And so just go after Yeah, I, I feel, I always feel confident in our group of guys. It um, doesn't really matter the score, what time it is in the game. I, I know we're going to pull it out. I don't always know how we're going to do it. Or, uh, yeah, so, but I, I always know we'll, we'll get the job done eventually and we'll, we'll come out on top. Some of the key seems like the defense makes you stops. Last week, I think you made two or three in a row. Got the ball right back, so you can have a chance. Yeah, um, uh, that's what we probably want as a defense. I mean, getting the ball back to the offense. I mean, we have to, we still have to get better as a defense as a whole. We have to, our goal is to get a shutout. We still haven't had a shutout yet this season. So, I mean, uh, once we do that, we'll reach our goal as a defense. I mean, and once we can create more turnovers for our offense to get the ball, for they can go up and put some points up on the board, and then we uh, like our defense to be efficient. Then, but as it's going, I mean, we can just only get better and better. Did you say anything though, Tim? Like knock off the fumbles? Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, the fumbles don't really matter to us. I mean, you know, guys make mistakes. I mean, we as a defense, we 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 play our role. We let we uh, just only do what we can do with. So we go out and help our teammates out. You know, because uh, you know, as a team, we uh, pride on each other. So. You know, once when one person is down, we got to pick them back up, you know. So that's just what we probably don't. If he fumbles, I mean, we'll, we'll go back and help him out. I mean, like we did, we only held him to three points a couple times. So yeah. We pride ourselves on taking care of the football, um, especially in the running back room. We, we can't turn over the ball. Um, we know that. We, we talk about it every day. So that, that's on us. Um, as an offense, we're still working on being consistent. Um, we're, we're coming out every day working on that, just trying to be better as a group. And uh, defense has done a great job holding us in games all year. We got to give them a lot of credit. Well, and you know, B is I think the sixth in the nation in fumble recovery this year, so it's like even more of a priority this year. Yeah, yeah, we got in a, in our room. We got five fumbles, um, and that's that's the most any group uh, under Coach Horton has had for a full year. So we can't turn over the ball anymore.